Hello guys, what is up and welcome back to another episode of Dream League Soccer 21 Career Mode. Uh, and to be honest, I'm just going to dive straight into it. I'm going to start today's episode by nipping over to the transfer window because I've actually seen a player which I quite like the look of. We are going to be signing Miguel Veloso. I think that's his name. I mean, 70 rated is not that good, but at the moment, obviously, when you're in the academy division, you don't get so many players. Uh, so it's obviously, that's a pretty good signing. So there he is, number 18. So I'm hoping he can be a great addition to the team. Uh, so obviously I'm going to put him straight in. Uh, but nevertheless, if you go on to enjoy this video, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget you can also find links to my Instagram and my Discord server in the description. So be sure to check those out. And let's just get straight down to episode 4. So you can see then jumping into the first game today is actually the Bronze Cup quarter-final away at Utrecht. Like they I think they're some sort of Dutch league side, side. but anyway, here we are then in our home kit. We're going to be giving debuts to Livermore, Emmanuelson and obviously Veloso in the league for the first time. And I'm also changing formation to a 4-4-2 just so I can try and play like my outright best players. And anyway, off we go then for the first game in today's video. So you can see this could be an interesting game. I've played with these players before and online and they look pretty good. Uh, but obviously, let's just see how they are going to fare in this Bronze Cup quarterfinal in the proper career mode. As you can see, Gordon plays it out. Let's see what happens. I am stupid. Oh my life, I'm stupid. I don't even want to see the replay. Get lost. I have absolutely no idea how we managed to put that in the net. To be fair, that was a pretty good goal. That wasn't really me. There wasn't much I could have done about that. But even so, I should have dispossessed him sooner than that. Not a great start. We're 1-0 down. We need to try and pick this up, boys. Come on. Oh, Jesus! Oh, this bumming centre-back. He, he literally just ran through my whole team, and when I tried to get a player near him, they just couldn't tackle him. We're better off having a team of bloody chickens. Absolutely unbelievable, and it's half-time. We're 2-0 down. This is not good at all. Into the second half, and I need to make a substitution. I'm going to bring on Berry for Veloso. Uh, not much has happened again. We just can't seem to get into the game. I think we're going to lose, to be honest. We've just been playing absolutely dreadful. Like I said, we'd be better off with having a team of chickens, and I mean that. Bit messy in the box. Oh, for Christ's sake. We just, they had a corner. Our defence was all over the place in the box. I mean, yeah, he was there. There was just not much I could do about that. I mean, you might notice when you get one game, when no matter how hard you defend, you just can't stop the AI because they're just so good. And I'm having one of these games here, 3-0 down. So I think it's safe to say we are out of the Bronze Cup. Uh, but nevertheless, let's try and get something. You see what I mean? I just whack it against the player. We need Rostovsky to try and get that if he can. Rather than belting it at the player, referee, give him a yellow. All right, at least we get the free kick. Either way, let's belt that one up. Maye, head it through. Werner, come on, Werner. Oh, that is absolutely lovely. But I'm not really going to celebrate because we're 3 1 down and there's only about seven minutes to go. But that is a lovely goal, to be fair. Posting in. Great. Oh, Kevin Maye, he's going to put it in. It's 3-2. I'm not even kidding. Right, there's... I don't know what happened there. I played it out from wide. Maie, the keeper tried to bang it against Maie. And Maie puts it in the net. So, it's added time. And we are effectively one goal away from somehow sending this into extra time. Uh, but unfortunately, we're not going to get chance. Because Werner is just going to try and find a way through. They're going to get the ball. And that, my friends, is that. So in the end we came too close to comfort, but 3-2, an exciting game nonetheless. But even so, we were dreadful for the first 75 minutes, so probably deserved to lose. 
Okay, back at Spitfire Parade, back in the Academy Division. Let's try to avoid the embarrassment which we suffered from the Bronze Cup. So we are now out of all major cup competitions. We're out of the Bronze Cup. We're out of the Global Challenge Cup, which just leaves the Academy Division to see if we can try and stay in the playoffs. Today we're playing against a team called Crotone. Crotone? I don't know. Uh, but let's just see if we can fare any better in this game. Back in the league. I'm not I'm finished. Nothing has happened in this first half. Yet they get one sniff of my bottom and they manage to shove two breadsticks up it. Oh my arse. He literally just ran through my defence and there you go, it's half time. Nothing has happened and then they score right at the end. So it's a double change after that typical first half. We're kicking off for the second half. Let's see if we can do any better as Vostovsky plays it out to Petrovicius. He drives a little switch back there. He array came on at half time. Werner, he's going to try the shot and in the end that was quite tame. But let's see if we can do some better. Again, this has been one of those games where I'd rather watch my grandma snoring on the sofa because we've just had no chances because we haven't been able to get past them. Gordon getting a little bit cocky there. At this point, I was just playing around because I know we've lost and my team of donkeys have gone and lost two in a row, one at home. This one was hard to take because it was a boring match and like I say, they managed to shove a packet of crisps. Anyway, so aside from that, I'm not really sure to be honest. We probably ought to have won and we only just managed to stay in the playoffs. We're still sixth, but we're only a win out. So we need to try and keep this going if we can. We really need to try and start winning. However, I feel like the time has come to release our first player and we are going to be saying goodbye to Darren Lyon. Uh, he served us well in our time with us, scored a couple of goals. However, it's because I've got so many midfielders now. Obviously, the last couple of players I've signed, Livermore and Veloso, have been midfielders. So I felt we needed to get have somebody going the other way. And that's exactly what we've done. And we've benefited from it by getting a fitness coach. So we're going to use that. And in the end, Werner has 90 pace, but he stays at 80 rated. So let's just move into the game and see how quick Werner actually is. So today we're away at Boa Vista, who are a Portuguese side. I actually know something about one of these teams. And we're playing in our third kit. Again, it's actually a different setup today because I'm resting some players, giving other players a chance. So I'm playing Boyle on the left. I'm playing Joe Mattock. I'm playing Ian Wilson. And I'm playing a Bansky as well. So, you know, I'm just trying to give a few more players a chance to try and impress me. And it's been a shocking start. So we need to do better. I'm sorry, when I meant we need to do better, I meant we're just going to go and let a goal in because our defence is absolutely atrocious. Look, he, he literally just runs there. I'm, I'm now I'm playing my reserve keeper, just giving him a chance. But even so, we needed to have somebody there, Boyle, just trying to, you know, keep a bit of possession, even if it's the cheeky way. Let's try and get an equaliser. Come on. Dear, 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 I don't know what's gone on with my defence in this episode, but five minutes into the second half, he gets a through ball, he runs, and then he goes and pulls my pants down, just like that, and we're 2-0 down, and we, at the moment we are on course to lose three in a row, which is not good at all, and as a matter of fact, I'm probably going to bring some subs on. So, let's just go over to my team. I feel like I need a few more sort of better players on so I'm going to bring on Veloso and I'm going to bring on Emmanuelson as well and hopefully with them being a better rating we can hopefully try and get something out of this game. Bartolome Abanski scores for Spitfire Overs so we finally get something and it's actually my re reverse I was going to say reverse then do excuse me Reserve midfielder who gets on the score sheet. I decided to bring him on at cam. Uh, but anyway, we've defended shockingly and probably don't deserve that goal. But it's a goal nonetheless. So we need to try and press on. Is Werner not going to get that? No, he isn't. Is Mai going to get that? In the end, he tries to Urbanski, who just gets dispossessed. And there we go. And for the first time in the history of Spitfire Rovers, we have lost three games in a row. 
And actually, we got a bit lucky because that is actually still just enough to keep us in sixth place, which is the final playoff spot. But only just. The team in seventh is Luton, and we are actually yet to play them. The same with the team who were top. I don't know who else. But either way, we must improve in the next episode. Our defending today has been shocking. And there we have it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, whatever you want to call yourself. That concludes the fourth episode, I think it is. I can't remember. It's been too long since I last uploaded one of these of Dream League Soccer 21 career mode. If you did enjoy this video, then please remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. All support is very much appreciated. Remember, you can follow me on Instagram and join my Discord. Both links are in the description below. And until the next video, I'll see you. Goodbye.